Hello, my name is Sally Gimmon, and I'm the owner of the TrustIsYou.com. The reason I'm starting this is because most people are not aware of how much they're going to have to pay in capital gains. I'm not trying to rip, rip off the uh, government, but people need to know this. Just to give you an idea, what the uh, IRS says, that uh, what uh, capital gains are, Almost everything you own and use for per uh, personal purpose, pleasure, or investment is a capital asset. I want to talk to you about someone who I had a meeting with yesterday. Nice guy. Um, he is out of Texas. Uh, he's uh, He'd seen me on LinkedIn. He wants some more information. He This year, he has a crew. This year, he did four houses, uh, fix and flip four houses, um, his wife's the real estate agent. She's selling them. And he goes, you know, I'm not paying that much in capital gains. <laughs> but by the end of our conversation, um, he, he's a, very interested in the trust. With his five houses, he had a house at 50. He made $50,000 on one house. He made $55,000 on another house. He made uh, $62,000 on the first house. And on his last house, he only made $47,000. So when you put that all together... He's doing pretty well. He made over $214,000 in profits. What he did not realize is come April 15th, he's going to have to pay capital gains. So I'm taking that $214,000. I'm timesing it by 0.238 um, that he's going to be paying over $50,000, almost $51,000 in capital gains. Yes, he's going to take off all his expenses. Again, you know, he's got a crew. That's he's already taken off those expenses, uh, the crew for uh, selling, the, selling the houses, everything else. He was not aware how much he was paying. He puts a certain amount aside for each house he sells. He's got two more houses he's doing fixing, flipping for 2023. And, you know, the market's turning. He's not sure where he will go. The other thing he was not aware of is how this trust will, A, uh, defer capital gains into infinity beyond. I'll also will defer interest income because he wants to now start holding the houses. You know, the market has changed. He's going to hold the house and make uh, rent on the houses. So capital gains and interest income are both covered by the trust and rent rolls. B, his information is 100% private. And C, he's going to uh, no longer be sued for any anything that happens. He is the general contractor for his crew that is working on those four houses and the two houses he has going right now in Texas. Do you know how much he worries about being sued uh, with his crew and with other people? So again, this trust is going to help him so much. We had a conversation. He does not have the money now to pay for the trust. What will happen for him is, uh, he, this is we're going to do this in January, a little bit crazy right now with the holiday season. I understand. What he's going to do is he's going to sign up for the trust. He's going to say, I want this trust. I will pay for this trust when I sell the next house in February. When he goes to the closing table and he holds, uh, and he fix and flips it and sells it to uh, the person, then he will pay in full for the trust. He will get his EIN number and everything else. And he goes, why would you trust me? I work for a law firm. If he doesn't pay the law firm, guess who's coming after him? So again, I'm not trying to say this as, as a cruel thing, but I'm trying to help as many investors as possible save as much money as possible. When you go out to the trustisyou.com, this is my website. You can set up an appointment with me. You can get on the Monday, Monday night, 8 p.m. East Coast time. Uh, I do a live Q&A so we can answer questions about the trust. Also, you can download the PDF I have there. This is a PDF that discusses the trust and also how I have saved over $40,000 using the trust with what I'm doing. I'm nobody special. I wholesale. I want to be a, a, an accredited investor. So I suggest highly go out to the trustisyou.com. Worst case scenario, just download the PDF and read through it. Learn what the federal government considers a capital gain. You know, we're not even talking about state governments. If you decide to start with the trust, um, you, uh, I gave up uh, four LLCs, you know, everything I did my business in, I now do it in the trust. I now just file a 1041 tax return, federal tax return, and I do not file state taxes because I don't exist. 
the five names for the trust. So you know this and you'll find this out at learn, uh, uh, sorry, the trust is you.com. I'm getting confused with my other website. It is uh, irrevocable, complex, spendthrift, non-grantor, spendthrift trust. All five of those words are super important. It keeps your information private, keeps you from being sued, and then helps you save on capital gains. Now, this is a beneficiary trust for investments. There is the business trust for 10, uh, 1099 workers. I have both trusts because I do things online. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you have learned a little bit about uh, saving money. Do what you do. We, investors don't change what you're doing, but save money. The trust is here to help you save money easily. Have a beautiful day.